Good morning, boys and girls. There I said good morning. I'm so used to uh, teaching in the morning. Um, so you can actually see that I am, or actually hear, that I'm a little bit nervous. So um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time you are watching this. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm a little bit, this is for me a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm used to a couple of noisy, no, good kids sitting in front of me. All kids are good. Sometimes they are a little bit noisy, so I'm used to having kids sitting in front of me. And um, now uh, there's a camera in front of me, and the camera is not whispering to his friend. So uh, this is a little bit strange for me. I am a little bit nervous. So if I make a mistake, if I forget something, please excuse me beforehand. Okay? My name is Ash Steenbok, Mr. Ash Steenbok. I'm a teacher at Kreitberg Primary School. Now, Kreitberg Primary School is in Noortuk in Hilton. And people don't know, Kreitberg is actually one of the largest or biggest schools in the Free State. It has 1,600 learners. Yes, uh, we are a popular school and we are a great school. And we are Kreitberg, but we actually call it Greitberg. Uh, I teach English. Uh, grade 7, and I also teach uh, life orientation, grade 7. Um, yes, what else is there? I've got two jobs. I'm actually not just Mr. Ash Steenbock. I'm Reverend Ash Steenbock. I'm a qualified reverend. So during the week, I teach, and on a Sunday, I preach. Yeah, so that is me. Welcome. So here comes our topic for the morning. Are you ready for the topic for the morning? Are you ready? The topic for the morning is grade 7 home language. You know, first edition of language can also watch. But grade 7, the topic is diary entries. Diary entries. Now I know. There are some of you boys that have just fallen off your chair and say, Diaries, that's just for girls. It's only girls that do diaries. Boys don't do diaries. Just for you boys that said so. I went and I bought myself a pink diary with a heart. Just to show you that diaries are not just for girls. Also, I know the other half of you guys just said, sir, diary entries. Who still does diaries? That's for the 1950s. I got my phone. On my phone, I downloaded a diary app. If I want to really do diary, I do it on my phone. But let me tell you, there's a difference between tapping on your phone and there's a difference between writing for eye and hand coordination. But, it's, but for those that, for, for you guys that said, diaries are for the 1950s, um, I just want you to look at this little clip. It's a video clip um, from Star Trek Beyond, uh, 2016 the movie. Paramount Pictures produced it. J.J. Abrams directed it. Chris Pike is the main actor. I gave all the credits, okay? I gave all the credits. Just look at this opening scene of this movie that's playing out, or the action is now in the year 2022-36, I think, 100 years from now. Just see what happens in this video clip. Mr. Engineer, can we have it, please? Jim, okay. you look like crap. Thank you, Bones. You got that little vein popping out of your temple again. You okay? That's better. Just another day in the fleet. Captain's log, stardate 2263.2. Today is our 966th day in deep space, a little under three years into our five-year mission. The more time we spend out here, the harder it is to tell where one day ends and the next one begins. It can be a challenge to feel grounded, when even gravity is artificial. But 
Why don't we do what we can to make it feel like home? The crew, as always, continues to act admirably despite the rigors of our extended stay here in outer space and the personal sacrifices they have made. We continue to search for new life forms in order to establish firm diplomatic ties. Our extended time in uncharted territory has stretched the ship's mechanical capacities, but fortunately, our engineering department, led by Mr. Scott, is more than up to the job. The ship aside, prolonged cohabitation has... Okay, that was the video clip. Um, it's the start of the movie. Captain Kirk is... is doing a digital diary, a digital diary, a hundred years from now. Yeah, I know it's a movie, but a hundred years from now, people will still perhaps be doing diary entries. So diary entries is not just for old people. Diary entries is not old age. Diary entries, boys and girls. Or if your mom and dad is watching with diary entries, is um, mom and dads, is, there's actually very good reasons still to do a diary today. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you two slides. Um, the first slide has five, the five top academic reasons for keeping a diary, and then I'm going to show you uh, another slide. So let's just have let's just have a look at at the first slide. Mr. Engineer, can I talk about the first slide? Thank you very much. Okay, so let's look at the first top five academic reasons for keeping a diary. Number one, it improves your writing skills. Boys and girls, we are too much on our phones. And I don't understand you guys, all you do is the whole day watching people dance on the, on the phone. I don't know, I don't understand that. Um, but anyway, we are not writing enough with our hands. And when you write with your hands, it helps with your eye and hand coordination. If you do a diary, your writing skills will improve. Obviously, your punctuation will improve. Remember, one of these days, boys and girls, one of these days, you're going to go to high school where you're going to have to write an application form to university. Some university requires it. Or if you're looking for a job, you're going to have to write a cover page on top of your CV why you want that job. So um, writing is still important now in the year 2021. So the more you write, the better your writing skills, the better your punctuation, and hopefully your better your pronunciation of what you write. Okay, that's number one. Number two, um, a diary helps you to organize your thoughts how to do summaries, just like some subjects requires. Boys and girls, every exam in grade 6 and grade 7, after the comprehension, we ask you guys to make a summary of the story. And you know how many students fail at doing summaries. So the word summary means it's just a short little version of a big story or a movie that you watched. So, and to make a summary, you need particular skills to see what is the topic sentence, what is the crux, what is the most important things that happened. So because a diary entry, we'll look at it later, because a diary entry is short, it will help you to, to know how to write summaries and practice how to write a summary. Number three, uh, a diary entry, it boosts memory, helps you remember important events, activities, and experiences. If now and again, um, you get some sort of allergy. Um, write in your diary entry. What are you eating through the week? You can make it part of your diary entry. You guys won't realize. I just figured out that um, I'm actually allergic to watermelon. And I never realized it. But if I, didn't, um, if I didn't write it down in my diary, or I didn't mention it somewhere, or I didn't remember it, um, I couldn't have figured it out. So keeping a diary boosts your memory. It's like ke ke keeping a day planner. Uh, number four, it inspires creativity. Writing a diary can help you grow your imagine, imagination. So if you're busy writing a diary, um, you are the only one seeing the diary. 
so you can write your thoughts and you can be honest and you can use a little bit of your imagination. So if you like somebody in your class and they looked at you and um, you feel so great that they looked at you in a certain way, tonight when you write in your diary, you can say, oh, she glared at me and she stared at me. Even if it's not true, she just wanted to borrow a pencil. Number five, you have a written record of events, past and present, and one day in 10 years' time, you can look back at a time when you were a teenager. That's a nice thing about a diary. I know somebody that have kept a diary since they were teenagers, teenager, and they are now in their 50s. And it's so interesting to look back um, in their lives. Maybe one day um, you become famous. Huh? Maybe one day you are a Hollywood star, and then you pick out, uh, then you can publish your diary and give it to the world and, so, and show this is what... Like Elon Musk, nah, this is how I looked when I was a teenager. Or this is what I thought when I was a teenager. You never know. I always say to myself, imagine if I'm a Christian. So imagine if Jesus kept a diary of when he grew up. That would have been so interesting just to read from himself. How was it to grow up um, as God man in, in this world? But. I'm just sorry, I'm just a Christian, but that was just interesting for me. Okay, um, the next slide. The top four psychological reasons for keeping a diary. Mm, I know, you never thought there's some psychological reasons for keeping a diary. Number one, you won't believe this. And if you don't, if you don't believe me, you can speak to a psychologist, a psychiatrist, you can Google. Number one, keeping a diary, it reduces stress. When you write down your experiences and frustrations on paper, it will make you feel like you're dumping it somewhere. Writing a diary, boys and girls, eh? it will make us, you know what happens, the psychologist, they will tell you when you keep a diary, when you write down your experiences, it, it, it is as if you take it out of yourself, out of your mind, and you put it somewhere in front of you on paper. And it will feel like you're venting. So that's the one of the things that, that it's very good to keep a diary. Number two, self-reflect. When you write down your bad experience, experiences, it can give you a different perspective. Maybe you've learned a lesson from what has happened. Maybe... You trusted a friend and you told um, her a secret and she didn't keep the secret. And it really broke your heart because you've known each other since grade one. What lesson have you learned? So when you write that in your diary that your heart is broken, maybe the lesson that you learned is don't tell all your stuff to everybody. And let me tell you today, people don't keep secrets. Number four. Oh, number three, sorry. Number three, set goals. A wise person one day told me when I was first year at university of the free state, my professor told me or told us a goal is not a goal if it's not written down. I want to repeat that. A goal is not a goal if it's not written down. You can use your diary to write down your goals, ambitions, aspirations. And then a year from now, you can look back. You can go back to your diary or your old diary and see, did I practice hard enough? Did I make the team? Did I lose that mukaba? <laughs> um, um, did something change in me? Was there any progress? So if you don't write down your goals, it's not a goal. And you can use your diary as a goal setter. And number four, I think number four for me is very important. You can keep a diary secret. Uh, you can keep a diary, uh, diary a secret or secretly. So you, can, you only can see it. It can be a place where you really can be honest and true. You know, not all of us can sit with somebody and say, this is how I feel. Not all of us can go to somebody. And it's good to go to somebody. You know, an adult that you trust. Um, or a teacher that you trust, yeah, teachers and adults, same thing, um, or a professional like a psychologist or a sister, a nurse, 
or perhaps somebody that it's a family member, uncle, or your mom or your dad, if you're going through some, something and you are teenagers, I teach life orientation. I know that your home, hormones is berserk and you're going through a lot of things. Um, and there's days where you say, I just hate myself, or this was just a bad day, or things are just totally falling apart at home. If you're not able to speak to somebody, if you don't have that, that not everybody has that ability to speak to somebody. A diary is a good place where you can speak to somebody. A diary is a good place where you can write down how you feel inside. And you can keep it to yourself and nobody will know. So that's the, that's the, the nine reasons for, for keeping a diary. So I hope that I've changed your mind, boys and girls. Number one, it's not just for boys, it's not just for girls, and it's not just for old people. Uh, keeping a diary, diary entry, is actually a very, very, very good idea. Okay, we're going to move now. Let me just see if I can do this. Mr. Engineer, we're going to move now to the gooseneck. We're gonna look. We're gonna look now. <clears throat> we're gonna look now. Well, let me just grab my pencil. We're gonna look now um, at at the structure, the format of how a diary looks. Surprise, surprise! Look at this. It's a great four textbook. Ooh! Now you're gonna tell me, Mr. Ash. We are grade sevens. We are the seniors of the school. Why did you bring a grade four textbook? You know, boys and girls, I love the grade four and the grade six textbook. Um, if you can get your hands on a grade four and a grade six textbook, it will really support you in grade seven still. But what I like about this grade four textbook is that it shows you the basic structure of how a diary looks and it's always good to go back to the basics so let's look let's look at the basics I'm gonna work it through with you okay number one um, on my left hand corner dear diary now there's some people that give their diaries a name like dear Tom like they writing to somebody but you know that's for me I don't know I've got a little bit uneasy with that um, let's stick with Dear Diary, so that you know this is your diary, and you're going to see it, and it's your personal diary, and it's just for you. So I don't really like giving a diary, but if you want to give your diary name, it's fine. But if you don't, you write to Dear Diary. And then that's what's very, very important, boys and girls, is that you write your date on the right-hand corner. That's very, very important. So that one day when you're 30 years old and you still have your diary and you show your daughter um, or your son your diary, you can go back to a specific date. So it's very important that you write a date like this. Okay? And then you start your diary entry. Um, first of all, you start with the first person narration. When it comes to a diary, it's me, myself, and I. Okay, we always, when you write diaries, we start with, we always do first person. Okay, so you will start with your topic sentence, why you're writing about. So let's read this. I am going to a new school. I'm excited about it, but at the same time, I feel very scared. What will the other kids think of me? Will they like me or will they think I'm weird? I will, also, I will also miss my grade 3 friends, Tabo, Jane, and Yasin. We have been friends since grade R. Anyway, time to sleep now so that I can get up bright and early. Um, so you've got a supporting, you've got a topic sentence, and your topic sentence says what you're going to write about. And in the end, you must write your name. Okay? Also, you'll see that this person is writing um, in the evening. You know, some people, what they do when they keep a diary is, 
they make a fixed hour. They say nine o'clock at night before I go to bed, that's when I'm going to write my diary. Other people take their diaries with them through the day. It depends upon you. The nice thing about keeping a, a diary at nine o'clock at night is that it becomes a habit. So instead of, I know what you guys are doing. At night, what are you doing? When you go to bed, if you're not praying or reading Bible or praying and reading Bible, so, but just before you sleep, you take out your phone and you lie with your phone and that bright light of the phone is shining in your face and then you go to sleep and then you don't have a good night's rest. Because of that bright light, it stimulates your brain activity. But if you take your diary just before you sleep and you write down, um, it creates a habit that you know this is something that you have to do and it will, it will give you a calming effect and you will have a better night's rest. Okay, so that was the first entry of this person. Let's look at the second entry. Can you see? Because it's on the same page, you don't have to write Dear Diary again. But if it's on, if it's on the next page, you write Dear Diary. But you always write, with another entry, you always write a new date. I just got home from school. It was terrifying. I'm usually chatty, but the cat must have got my tongue. I couldn't think of anything to say to people. So this person had a bad day at their new school. Everyone was so unfriendly. I should have stayed at my old school. Why did mom and dad make me change schools? This was the worst day ever. So here we have some emotive language. Can you see this person is expressing how they feel? And that is one of the main things about a diary. You can write down how you feel inside. So this person has got, this person experienced not such a good day at school. And I think sometimes you've got days like that. Ne? The other day at my school, there was a kid when she climbed out of the bus, her foot hooked and then she fell um, out of the bus. And then um, when she got into my class, the second period, when she opened her school bag, a, bo a water bottle was open and the water spilled on all her books. So you can imagine that girl at the end of this, at that day, she must have said, Yo, that was the worst day ever. Okay. And then this person made a third entry. You see, same page. Oh, sorry. Remember, after each entry, you must write your name. So this person made a second, a third entry, and also a date again. But because it's on the same page, no dear diary. Today was a guess. Some informal language. Yes. When we do diary entries, you can use informal language. You can use words like BFF. Uh, you, can, you can use words like, oh, I like that boy in my class because he's got swag. You can use informal language, but unfortunately, you still have to use punctuation and grammar. Good grammar, more or less. But stick with some punctuation, like here's an exclamation mark. Today was a guess. I made a new friend called Leia. Even though she is a girl, I think we could be best friends. We sat together at break time to eat our sandwiches. I also tried out for the soccer team. The teacher, Mr. Monde, said he was impressed with my kicking skills. He called me Benny, probably Benny McCarthy. Now, those of you that don't know, um, when I was young, Benny was a star. There, were, there was even a song about Benny. Shibobo, Benny. He said I was a star player. Life's great at that moment. Ah, oh, life's great. Some, yes, some emotion. You see, so when we write a diary, it's important that we put some emotion. And, yes, even an um, um, a icon, um, emotive icon. You can even draw a picture. If you're crying, you can even draw, let me see if I can draw somebody crying, oh, these tears flowing. Nah. So if you're sad, you can even, even draw some, some sadness. Or um, if there's a nice girl in your class and you're writing about this girl, you can say, oh, she smiled at me. Oh, this is a bad drawing. And then she blew me a kiss. So um, you can actually do that 
between or in between um, your diary entry. But what's important when we look at this, boys and girls, um, when we start the diary, you must write, sorry, let me move down, dear diary, the date is important, a topic sentence, what you're writing about, that's not so important. But what's important that you must end with your name because it's you writing. The date again, if it's on the same page, you don't write dear diary, but always you write. With every entry, it's very, very important you have to write a date. Also, you can write informally. You can really write informally. You can use some slang. You can use some words. And um, um, you can use any type of words that, that is popular today. You can put it in. Um, you can even use some WhatsApp uh, lingo also. Um, but try to use some punctuation also, boys and girls. So I like this uh, grade 4 textbook. It gives you a basic idea of how a diary looks, the format of a diary. And let me warn you, when we as teachers mark a diary, this exam, no? I don't know if it's going to be in this exam, but when we mark diaries, the first thing that we're going to look at is your format. You're going to get a mark for diary entry on top. You're going to get a mark for date. You're going to get a mark for your name. You see, and that's Mark Mahala. So just the way the diary looks, you already have 9, 8, 10 marks out of 20. So if you can get a grade 4 platinum textbook, that would be absolute a great idea. Okay, now let's go to my um, pink diary. Let's go to my pink diary. Not pink, it's red. Mm, it's actually red, yes. I thought it was pink. It's actually red. Okay, let's go to my red diary. So I bought this yesterday, especially for you guys. You saw how much money it was. Let me show you how much money it was. Oh, you can't see. 129 rand for a diary. So you can buy a nice diary like this, or you can use any hardcover book. It doesn't really matter. Or you can ask anybody for, um, you can see it's new. There's my, oh, let me move it on. Okay, you can see it's new. There's my name, Ash Tienbok. I can even sign it for you. Okay, all right. Um, so, usually, you don't show people your diary because your diary is personal and it's your personal emotions and it's a reflection on how you feel. But I'm going to show you, okay? So, I made an inscription, my first inscription last night. So, please don't laugh at my inscription. And please keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Okay. So here's my diary inscription. Okay, let me just crease this, this page a little bit. I wrote my date like this. Ne? 11th of March 2021. Be careful. Don't write it like this when you do formal writing in school. Your teachers hate that. When we do languages, Afrikaans or English, or Susutu, you must write out 11 March 2021. So don't write your date like this when you do formal writing or when you work in your workbook in the English classes. Okay, so here is my diary. I'm going to show you now. I feel a little bit embarrassed, but I'm going to show you because I want you to understand and I want you to learn something um, today. Okay, so here it go. You see, dear diary, that's very, so I got my date, I got my address, dear diary. That's very important. That's already two marks there, four marks already from my teacher. I am, I've got a beautiful handwriting, I know. I am going to do an online lesson at the university. I am so stressed. So obviously, you can see, I'm going to, oh, let me not write, do this. Obviously, with a pencil, you can see. I did this last night at 10 o'clock. Yes, I sleep at 10 o'clock, okay? I am going to do an online lesson at the university. I'm so stressed. Can you see my beautiful picture of how I'm stressed? And let me tell you a secret, boys and girls. I slept only three hours. That's how stressed I was. I've never done such a lesson. 
What if something goes wrong? Can you see I'm talking about my emotions? What if the video don't work? What if I forget some of the important things to say? Because I know, did you guys know that I know the officials of the department is going to look, or the head of English is going to look um, at this lesson, I'm so stressed. So that's why I couldn't sleep last night. I for forget, or what if I forget some of the important things to say? What if I forget to wear a shirt and just pitch up without one? I'd, sorry, lol, my mind went crazy. But what if I came here without the shirt? You'll be like, yo. Okay, but anyway, I hope things are going to be okay. I've been studying about diaries and going to, pr uh, and, oh, I made a mistake here. I have been studying about diaries and I, I'm going to pray for the Lord to keep me calm. He always does. And sees a smile. You see what the diary does. At first when I started my diary, look how stressed I was. I didn't even have any teeth. Can you see any teeth? My teeth were like gone. My hair were like gone. I was totally stressed. But after I wrote this sentence, I've been studying about diaries. I did my homework. I studied. I did research. Okay? And I'm going to pray for the Lord to keep me calm. So this two facts here, this two facts here, it makes me so calm because I know the Lord is always with me. He always does. He keeps me calm. Ash. But you see, I'm going to say it again. Sorry, teachers always repeat stuff. I started my diary stressed up. But because, and I mentioned why I'm stressed, I expressed my emotions. Okay. I used some informal language. I kept it with punctuation. I wrote in first person. But when I mentioned that I did my homework, I prepared myself and I prayed, I felt calmer in the end. And there's my name. And that's what a diary does. So let's pretend I'm going to page over. Let's pretend. Uh, let me move down, let me move down, let me move down. Let's pretend it's now 10 o'clock at night. It's the 12th of March, 2021. It's 10 o'clock at night. Now, I've done the, the, the online lesson. I've been here at the university, and I think it went well. So now I'm busy writing. Dear Diary, I think it went really well with my presentation of how to do a diary entry. Something Amazing happened. Made a spelling mistake. Along the way, I met someone in traffic. Guess what? He was one of the sound engineers and when I got here we could speak friendly because I gave him a space in the traffic lane. The Lord works 
wonderfully. The other sound, I think it's engineers, the other sound engineers were terrific. Oh, I don't know how to spell terrific. You see, at the beginning I told you, um, when you do diary entries, it helps you with your writing. I'm going to Google later. How do you spell terrific? You see what happens when you write. The more you write, the more your writing improves, the more your English language improves. So I'm going to go Google later. When my mom gives me airtime, that's you talking. Or when I buy airtime, I'm going to Google later. How do you spell terrific? So tomorrow in class, I will know how to use terrific. So the more you write, the better your language will improve. The other sound engineers were terrific and they made me feel at ease. Okay. Big smiley face. Now I got hair. No, that's not the, that's like, how do you smile? Now I got hair and I'm smiling and I'm happy. Ash. Let me move up a little bit. Okay. So this is tonight, 10 o'clock. So I reflected on the day. So now the next time I'm doing something new or the next time I get a challenge, I'm going to go back to my diary and say, there was a time when I was challenged to do something totally new. It went okay. So I don't have to be afraid of trying or doing something new. And that is why we keep diaries. Boys and girls, I'm going to start finishing up. Just um, a, a last summary about diaries. Um, if you can, I know this book is expensive. Okay, let me just show you. Uh, okay, from top, English handbook and study guide. There's an Afrikaans one also. Okay, I know this book is expensive. But you'll use this from senior primary to matric. It's an excellent, excellent textbook. Okay. So let's just quickly sum up before I say goodbye. And um, let's just quickly sum up. Diary extract. A diary may be given. A diary may be given a specific name like Kitty. But just stick with diary for now. Write a date. The day and date at the top entry. You see, I told you that's important. You see, it's not just me. Write in the first person, I, me, or mine. Write in the present tense. You see, I, I, I disagree a little bit with this because it depends on when you use your diary. If you're using a diary during the day, um, of course, present tense, but if you use it at night, obviously, past tense. So it, it depends on when you use your diary. Short paragraphs. Short, short, short paragraphs. That's very important. Emotive language, emotions, how you feel, your feelings. Nah, write in your diary, man, I feel like crap today. Man, this was such a bad day. I hate these pimples. Nah, I hate being a teenager. Okay, I hate when my dad says the music are too loud. Okay, so um, put, put down your, exp your, your feelings. It's going to make you feel better to put it on paper. Believe me. And then, um, yes, um, just your aspirations inten uh, and intentions. We did that. Punctuation, yeah. Um, also, yes, I told you, nah, you, may, you may wish to use diagrams, sketches, and cartoons. Um, I know my daughter. One day, I sneaked around and I found her diary. And I opened it a little bit. She had a lock on it, nah, but she didn't lock the lock. And I saw that she draw some cartoons of a boy. And then I just closed it because I didn't want any more of that information. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, if you have a diary, you can really do some diagrams and sketches and cartoons. So boys and girls, that is a diary. I'm back on the camera, sir. How do I do this? I'm back on the camera, sir. It was nice to be with you this morning. This wasn't... That bad? I survived, Mr. Sound Engineer. I really survived. Um, I hope that you can start a diary entry. Keep it. 
maybe like I said, maybe one day you're famous and you can publish your diary and people in Hollywood can say, oh, you grew up in South Africa. So I wonder if Trevor Noah kept a diary when he was young. Maybe. Okay, thank you very much. God bless. Have a good day. Study hard. Do your best. And God will do the rest. Ash Steenbok, Kreitberg Primary School. Thank you, sir.